In the mid-20th century, a groundbreaking scientific discovery transformed the course of human history, the advent of nuclear weapons. This discovery ushered in an era known as Pax Atomica, a period characterized by the belief that the possession of nuclear weapons by various nations would bring about a state of peace through deterrence. To comprehend the impact of nuclear weapons on war and peace, it's crucial to delve into the intricacies of this concept. The idea behind Pax Atomica is rooted in the theory of deterrence. Essentially, the possession of nuclear weapons by different nations creates a delicate balance of power. The fear of mutually assured destruction acts as a powerful deterrent, making it highly unlikely for nations to engage in large-scale conflicts. The potential devastation caused by a nuclear war has the potential to wipe out entire civilizations, compelling nations to exercise caution and restraint. One might think that the existence of nuclear weapons would increase the likelihood of war, but history has shown otherwise. Since the end of World War II, there has been a significant decline in global conflicts between major powers. The rationality of decision-makers and their understanding of the catastrophic consequences of nuclear warfare have helped maintain relative peace. The destructive potential of these weapons acts as a sobering force, ensuring that nations tread carefully. However, despite the emergence of Pax Atomica, human nature often finds ways to violate the principles of peace and stability. This brings us to Chekhov's law, which states, if you introduce a gun in the first act, it must be fired by the third act. Similarly, when humans possess powerful weapons like nuclear arms, there is an inherent temptation to use them. This violation of Chekhov's law occurs when political tensions escalate, leaders become irrational, or accidents happen, leading to the misuse or accidental deployment of nuclear weapons. Instances of humans violating Chekhov's law are not unheard of. During the Cold War, the world witnessed several close calls and incidents that brought humanity perilously close to the brink of nuclear annihilation. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 is a prime example, where tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union escalated dramatically, pushing the world to the edge of a cataclysmic conflict. It serves as a chilling reminder of how easily humans can deviate from the path of peace, even in the presence of nuclear deterrence. Furthermore, the proliferation of nuclear weapons poses an additional risk. As more nations acquire nuclear capabilities, the chances of rogue actors or non-state entities obtaining these weapons increase. The emergence of nuclear terrorism becomes a terrifying prospect, as individuals or groups may bypass the rationality of traditional nation-states and engage in catastrophic acts of violence with the potential to destabilize global peace. To prevent the violation of Chekhov's law and mitigate the risks associated with nuclear weapons, various mechanisms have been put in place. International treaties and agreements, such as the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, aim to curb the spread of nuclear arms and promote disarmament. Additionally, organizations like the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA Monitor, and regulate nuclear activities, ensuring peaceful uses of nuclear energy while preventing weapons proliferation. In conclusion, Pax Atomica represents an era of relative peace enforced by the presence of nuclear weapons. The theory of deterrence suggests that their destructive power discourages nations from engaging in large-scale conflicts. However, humans must remain vigilant to prevent the violation of Chekhov's law, as history has shown that political tensions, accidents, or the emergence of non-state actors can undermine the fragile peace upheld by nuclear deterrence. By adhering to international agreements, promoting disarmament, and maintaining strong global governance, we can strive to preserve the delicate balance of Pax Atomica and mitigate the risks associated with nuclear weapons.